since the suspension's being worked on, we have the upper control arms off. This is a great time to take advantage of painting these and offering some extra added protection since these will be slightly visible. To do that, we're going to use our VHT epoxy paint. Our VHT epoxy paint dries quickly, it's self-priming, no need for primer, and it'll also add protection against salt, rust, and other corrosion. To get these ready though, we want to make sure that we use the wire brush to remove any of the excess rust and then clean them with prep spray and then we'll be ready to paint and put these back on. Remember, when you're using your wire brush, you just want to remove the loose rust areas. The VHD epoxy paint is self-priming, so it'll go on thick and it'll dry nicely. So that should about do it. Now we'll use our prep spray to get it all cleaned up, and then we'll be ready to use our VHD epoxy paint. So we got these all cleaned and we have the areas taped off where we don't want any of the epoxy paint to go. And to apply this paint, we'll hold it about 8 to 10 inches away from the substrate. We'll give it two light coats followed by one medium coat with 10 minutes in between each coat. So we finished our last coat. These have dried for about an hour. We're gonna peel the tape, we're gonna put them aside and let them dry, and it's as easy as that. Our control arms are in pretty bad shape, but using our VHT epoxy paint, we made them look brand new and also protecting them with this one-step formulation. Show us what you can do and other projects that you've used our epoxy paint on our Facebook page. And stay tuned as we continue to work on our 1972 Plymouth Satellite.